I want you to try this because this is a green vegetable. A case against five protesters who built a garden to block oil trains rolling through northwest Portland ended in a mistrial. But many are still calling this a huge victory for our climate. Keely Chalmers joins us here in the studio. And Keely, that's because of this unique type of defense attorneys used in the case. Yeah, Laurel, it's a type of defense that's been used only a handful of times. It's called the climate necessity defense. It basically is an argument that admits guilt, but claims the illegal actions were necessary to protect our planet. We hope to see more of it. Today, these three Portlanders are celebrating what they call a major win. It is for sure a victory. They're three of five protesters arrested for trespassing in the spring of last year. The group brought in a tiny house and a truckload of dirt and created a garden atop train tracks used by Zenith Energy. They were protesting the company's storage and transport of crude oil from Canada. We fully expected to be arrested. We. We it truly felt this, it was part of our strategy. They were, and the case went to trial, which last week ended in a mistrial. Five of the six jurors found the defendants not guilty, even though they never denied their guilt. Never. Never. No. We, we advertised it, actually. We showed a video right. of us doing, I mean, of the entire action. The, mm -hmm. the dumping of the soil, the planting of the garden, us out there sitting on the tracks. They saw it all. It was really, really pathetic. But the climate activists used an argument called the climate necessity defense, also known as the choice of evils defense. Uh, civil disobedience can be justified if the threat of, uh, of what they're trying to prevent is, uh, is so great that, uh, that their conduct is reasonable and necessary. Portland attorney Greg Gafori was not involved in this case, but says the fact that the majority of the jury found the defendants not guilty. It's an enormously important legal victory. And he says this outcome could very well set the stage for similar trials in the future, where jurors can decide whether threats to our planet outweigh the crime. Going forward, if other judges have the courage to adopt uh, this, uh, this defense, uh, you're going to see a great deal more uh, direct action against the most severe uh, environmental polluters. And a spokesman for the district attorney's office told me this afternoon that they are carefully considering their next step. The climate activist I spoke with said they hope there is a retrial so they can use the climate necessity defense again. Okay, go ahead. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs>